Hello everyone. In previous videos of algebraic identities, we have learned about various identities and factorization of algebraic expressions using these identities. Now we shall take up some questions where you need to identify which identity to use and then solve accordingly. So let's start with the question. The question is find the following products using the suitable identity. So in all these parts, the factors are given to us and we have to find the product using suitable identity. So let's start with the first question. It is given 7x minus 9y into 7x minus 9y. Now this is clearly identity 2 which is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now over here a is equal to 7x, b is equal to 9y. So we shall substitute the values of a and b in identity 2 and we shall get whole square of 7x minus 2 into 7x into 9y plus whole square of 9y which is equal to 49x square minus 126xy plus 81y square. So this is our product of the given factors. Now let's move to question number 2. It is given 6ax plus 5by into 6ax minus 5by. Now clearly it is identity 3 which is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Over here a is equal to 6ax and b is equal to 5by. So we shall substitute the values of a and b in identity 3 and we shall get whole square of 6ax minus whole square of 5by which is equal to now 6 into 6 is 36 then a square x square minus 5 into 5 is 25 and b square y square. So this is our answer 36 a square x square minus 25 b square y square. Now let's move to question number 3. It is given 3 by 4 p square plus 2 by 3 q square into 3 by 4 p square plus 2 by 3 q square. So clearly it is identity 1 which is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Over here a is equal to 3 upon 4 p square and b is equal to 2 upon 3 q square. Now we shall substitute the values of a and b in identity 1 and we shall get whole square of 3 by 4 p square plus 2 into 3 by 4 p square into 2 by 3 q square plus whole square of 2 by 3 q square. Now further we will solve it 3 by 4 whole square will become 9 by 16 and 2 into 2 is 4 so we will write p raised to power 4 plus now we will solve this brackets and we will get p square q square plus 2 by 3 square will become 4 by 9 and 2 into 2 is 4, so q4. So this is our answer, 9 by 16, p raised to power 4, plus p square q square, plus 4 by 9, q raised to power 4. Now we shall move to question number 4. It is given x plus 3 by 4 y minus 4 z whole square, which further we can write x plus 3 by 4 y plus in bracket minus 4 z and whole square. Now clearly it is identity 4 which is a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. So over here a is equal to x, b is equal to 3 by 4 y, c is equal to minus 4z. We shall substitute these values of a, b, c in our identity 4 and we will get x whole square plus 3 by 4 y whole square plus minus 4 z whole square plus 2 into x into 3 by 4 y plus 
2 into 3 by 4 y into minus 4 z plus 2 into minus 4 z into x. Further we will solve and we will get x square. Now 3 by 4 y will become 9 upon 16 y square and then minus 4 z whole square will be 16 z square. Now further we will solve this bracket and we will get 3 by 2 x y. Then further plus and minus will become minus and 4 4 will get cancelled and we will get 6 y z. Then further plus into minus will become minus and 4 into 2 is 8. So 8 x z. So this is our final answer x square plus 9 by 16 y square plus 16 z square plus 3 by 2 x y minus 6 y z minus 8 x z. Now let us start question number 5. It is given x plus 2 y into x minus 2 y into x square plus 4 y square. Now clearly it is identity 3 where a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So over here if you observe the first two brackets are a is equal to x and b is equal to 2y. So accordingly we shall substitute a and b in our identity 3 and we will get whole square of x minus whole square of 2y in big brackets into x square plus 4y square. Further we shall solve we will get x square minus 4y square into x square plus 4y square. Now again it's identity 3 where a is equal to x square and b is equal to 4y square. So we shall substitute the values of a and b in identity 3 and we shall get whole square of x square minus whole square of 4y square which is equal to x raised to power 4 minus 16 y raised to power 4. So this is our final answer. Now let's move to question 6. It is given x plus 1 by x into x minus 1 by x into x square plus 1 upon x square into x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 4. Now these are the factors and we have to find the product. Now if you observe the first two factors, they are identity 3. a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So now in our first two factors a is equal to x, b is equal to 1 upon x. We shall substitute these values of a and b in the identity 3 and we shall get x whole square minus 1 upon x whole square in brackets into rest we shall carry forward as it is and we will write x square plus 1 upon x square into x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 4. Further, we will write x square minus 1 upon x square into x square plus 1 upon x square into x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 4. Now, if you observe the first two factors over here, again this is identity 3. Now, over here, a is equal to x square and b is equal to 1 upon x square. Now, substituting these values of a and b in identity 3, we shall get in bracket whole square of x square minus whole square of 1 upon x square into x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 4. This has come as it is. Now equal to 2 into 2 is 4. So x raised to power 4 minus 1 upon x raised to power 4 into x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 4. Now if you observe closely they, these factors are again identity 3 where a is equal to x raised to power 4 and b is equal to 1 upon x raised to power 4. So substituting these values of a and b in identity 3 we shall get whole square of x raised to power 4 minus whole square of 1 upon x raised to power 4. 
Now 4 into 2 is 8. So we will get x raised to power 8 minus 1 upon x raised to power 8. So this is our final answer. So this is how in this video we have solved different type of questions using different identities. Thank you everyone.